Now we're going to tin the ground for A, and again all the buttons share common ground. Probably in the way pretty badly there. <clears throat> All right, so we'll put this on this way. So that's where we want that to be. sure it's well lighted on the edges. Yep. So now we're going to do the live button for the A button. Slightly off, uh, off the shot there. Okay. Well, we're just putting flux on it, and then we're going to just put a little bit of solder on the wire. Don't really need to see it. There we go. We're going to flux the pad. solder on the pad I'm going to take our A button make sure if you're making a lot of mistakes to just take a break for a while <laughs> you don't want to overheat the board at all so just give it a minute to cool down if you need to Try to get the hand out of the shot. There we go. Oop, just lost it there. You're in the shot there. Hmm? You're in the shot. I am? Hand this. Oh, well. It's all good. I don't know if I like the way that underside wetted. I gotta take a look at that. Oh, it seems to have wetted well enough. Right. So there we go. All the wires are on. We should now have A and B button functionality with this Wii mode. So we're going to put it back into the case. Is it still recording? Yeah. We're going to put it back into its case and uh, test it out. We can take a break probably from recording for now. Put the Wii mode back into its holster. Oh, it fits in really well. I thought that red button was going to give me a bit of trouble. So let's go above then. I really shouldn't tape the buttons down so that they don't pull, but that's okay. Where did my cake go? Hi, crazy. So the Wii is off. I'm going to turn her on. The Wii is on. Oh. Let's do it. The Wii is asking me to press A to continue. So here we go. I'm going to press A to continue. We are. Okay, okay. So, now I'm going to go to... 
uh, my SD card and press A. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. What's something I can play with just the A and B buttons? Do I have a shooting game on here? Oh. Shot of the just the one Wiimote LED running. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Back? Okay, I don't care. Uh oh. I think I might have some bad news. Back ain't working? B is not working. Maybe the switch itself? Switch seems to be working. Switch is working. Some wiring problems then. It is a wiring problem. Okay, let me just make sure that I didn't tie two grounds to or the signal end of ground here. Yellow and white. I need yellow. Okay, and the red one did indeed go to the bottom. Ooh, this is gonna stop working. So we fixed the problem. It turns out that we had tied these two together, and that's not good, because this actually is an A's ground. I have this backwards on there. So I just put this, the B ground to a common ground I know down here, and it's uh, it's all working now. So we're, we're on screen and jiving out. I'm running my character around, careful. That's better. Run my character around. Let's go up to the castle. This game always did have one controls. And then I have my B button now working, which centers the camera in this game. And of course, my A button still works. Now I gotta call Chime up to do anything here. Button. Yeah, do I want to build a house? Oh, I can't build structures here. Uh -huh. Hold on. I didn't get a demo of the B button yet. There we go. So let's build a small house. Select the place. No, don't build a small house. B button works. Sweet. So we're good, man. We're, uh,. All I need now is a gun shell to put it in or something, and we've got our trigger. We've got D-pads for switching weapons and crap. And we got our A button for, I don't know, like Resident Evil. A is your knives or your grenades or stuff like that, so... I think we're on our way. That's really all we need for most games for guns. The uh, gamepad will have to come later.